Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Bushcraft Bums. We were challenged to do a spooning video. So Matt, you gonna come over and spoon me? What? Spooning video. I think it's how to make a spoon. Uh, <laughs> I am not spooning you. <laughs> make I am spoon. not spooning me, brother. You could have you been, you could have been the back spoon. But uh, actually, we were uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, that I would be the back spoon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We did get challenged by our, our uh, good friend Bushcraft Bites, B-Y-T-E-S. Uh, check out his channel. The guy's really awesome, really great uh, traditional bushcraft skills, really a, a craftsman in a lot of ways. Uh, give him a shout out. Also, a shout out to my friend Skeleton again. Skeleton Bushcraft, check out his channel. Skeleton! Guys, check these guys out. Some of the vault police, they're awesome. But, uh, so, Bushcraft Bites, uh, uh, challenged us to do a spoon carving uh, challenge. So I think um, well, this is going to be a, a sort of a two-part challenge for us because uh, I, I'm not really in a carving state right now. I still got some stitches in my hand and I can't make a fist yet. So I figured I'd try to come up with a way maybe I can come up with a pretty decent spoon that doesn't involve too much carving. So this is what I come up with. We're right on the coast here, the Atlantic coast. Um, so uh, we're, just to, we're right by the water here by my brother Matt's. And I just took a little walk along the water. I came up with a couple of different shells. Shells can almost be used as spoons by themselves, right? But I figured, what fun is that? Let's try to put a little handle on it. This is just a little clamshell. I can clean it out first. If you're going to use anything out of the wild, make sure you scrub it out with some camp soap or whatever. If you're doing this in the field, just to make sure that you're not getting any bacteria. All right? One of those things where we just, we are using what's in our particular camp environment. Right. You know, we're, we're right on the great job today right here. And, uh... And even in like freshwater areas, you can sometimes find a lot of freshwater clams and stuff like that. So, you know, it is there for your for, their, for your use. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I have this little piece of a stick here. I'm going to try to fashion a handle. So what I'm going to do is maybe do a little, put a, it's a, this type of wood is prone to splitting, and I want to be able to, to, to notch it pretty good without worrying about it splitting. So I'm just going to kind of wrap this a little bit, a little bit of bank line. See what we can come up with here. Give it a little bit of purchase. And uh, almost done. Doesn't have to be anything crazy, just a little bit. Get a nice tight wrap there. Almost done. without a finger. You know, you really take a, take for granted how much you use your fingers there. There we go. I'm just going to nip off the loose ends here. And nothing crazy, just a quick little wrap job. One. Two. All right. Now, using my knife here, I'm going to very gently make a little split in this stick. And voila, we have our spoon. Ta-da! It's held in there pretty good, a lot of good tension. I have a little liquid here. I use colored wick liquid so you can contrast it. All right. Otherwise known as coffee. Yeah. <laughs> the, most of the liquid that I, that I use is coffee. There you go. Perfectly adequate spoon, holds liquid. Okay? Nice job, Johnny. Thank nice you. Work, Quick man. improvised spoon. But just so you don't think that we're cheating, Bushcraft Bites, once my hand heals, my brother uh, my brother Matt and I will both be carving spoons for your spoon challenge. We'll be issuing out further tags of other channels along the way. But anyone who's watching this, Quick Improvised Spoon right there. May not look pretty, it's not a work of art, but it's a functional work of art. But um, and it took about three seconds, maybe a little longer than that. It might be a slight exaggeration. 
But we're bushcraft bums. Again, check out Bushcraft Bites, B-Y-T-E-S, and Skeleton Bushcraft and Survival, please. And guys, please like and subscribe. Share the love. All right? Keep the community going, Absolutely. guys. Absolutely. We'll catch you on the flip side.